always hi guys in this video i will cover all the basic topics regarding linked list so you can get started with lead code questions interview preparation and blind 75 so the topics covered is what is linked list creating a linked list and how to append how to traverse how to delete how to insert and delete at a position reverse linked list and find whether the linked list is cyclic or not so starting with what is linked list so a linked list is a linear data structure that stores the data in non contiguous memory locations so the smallest unit of linked list is a node and a node comprises of two variables the first is data and the second variable is a pointer variable that points to the next node so by convention the first node of linked list is called head and the last node is called tail so now let's get started so first of all i will define a node a node will basically contain two variables first is data and the second is the next variable so that will be a pointer to the next node so i will initialize the next with none now i will define the linked list So a linked list will always have a head. Now I will define it. Initially the head will also be none. Now I will define a function append in this linked list that will append data or you can say node in this linked list. Here we require data. First of all, I will create a new node. I will pass in data. After that, I will check whether the head is present or not. So if the linked list is empty, the head will be none. If self dot head is none. So here I will make self dot head equal to new node. And then I will return. So now I will write the code if the head is present and I need to append a new node. So first of all, I will define the current node and make it equal to the head. And then I will iterate through the last node and then I will iterate to the last node. So I will use a while loop while current node dot next is not none here i will make current node equal to current node dot next so this will make sure that we have reached to the last node in the linked list and then i will make current node dot next equal to new node so this will append a new node in the linked list. Now I will write the code to display the linked list. So first of all, I will check whether the head is none or not. If it is none, that means the linked list is empty. And then I will return. So if the linked list is not empty, I will define a current node using self dot head and using while loop while current node is not none. I will print the data in current node and then make current node equal to current node dot next. Now I will initialize a linked list object and append data to it.
After that, I will display the link list. Now I will run the code. So this is how you will append and traverse through the link list. Now I will show you how you can delete a value from link list. I will define a function delete. In, the la in this I will ask for data. First of all I will check whether the list is empty or not. And then I will check whether the head contains the data or not. So here I will make the next node the head. For that I need to do self dot head equal to self dot head dot next. Then I will return. And in case the data is not present in head, then I will loop through the link list. First of all, I will define a current node. It is self dot head. while current node dot next is not none so here I will check whether the next node to the current node have the data or node for that I will use current node dot next dot data equal to data so in this case the next node will have the data so I need to skip this node for that I will do current node dot next equal to current node dot next dot next so this will remove the intermediate node that have the data and then I will return and also I have to make current node the next node So this will delete the data from the link list. I will try that now. So up to this point, the link list will get printed. And after that, I will delete a value. So let me delete eight. Now I will print the link list. So this was the result before deleting and here now 8 is deleted. Now I will show you how you can insert at a particular position. I will define a function for that. I will get data and position. So first of all, I will create a new node. And then I will check whether the position is zero or not. So if position is zero, I need to add at the position of head. So I will make new node dot next equal to self dot head and then make self dot head equal to new node and then I will return so if position is not zero that means it can be anywhere in the link list so first of all I will define the current node then I will define a for loop Here I will give position minus one. And if current node is none, that means the user has inputted a position that is out of index according to the linked list. So I will print 
index out of range and then I will return so then I will make the current node equal to the next node so at this point we have reached to the position where we want to append new data so I will make new node dot next equal to current node dot next so now our new node will be pointing to the current positions next node and then I will make current node dot next equal to new node so now we can test the code so this is the zeroth position this is the first this is the third and this is the fourth and this is the fifth so I want to append at the fourth position I will pass the data it can be 7 and the position will be 4 now I will run the code so here you can see that 7 is added at the fourth position starting from 0 1 2 3 and 4 now I will show you how you can delete at a position For this we require a position variable. So first of all I will check whether the list is empty or not. If self load head is none. And then I will check whether the position is zero or not. So if position is 0 that means we want to remove the data from head for that I will make self dot head equal to self dot head dot next and then I will return so now I will define the current node and then the previous node for time being I will keep it as none now I will define a for loop in this I will pass position and then I will check whether the current node is none or not so if it is none that means we have exceeded the length of the linked list so that basically means that the position is invalid and then I will make previous equal to current node and current node equal to current node dot next so then I will make previous dot next equal to current node dot next so basically at this point we want to delete this current node so we will make the link from the previous node equal to the current node dot next so this will basically break the link of the current node but I need to add one more check if current node dot next is none then I will break so basically this condition occurs when we have reached the last position and in the case we have reached the last position so current node dot next actually the current node will be none so dot next will break the code so we can handle that if current node else none now we can test the code so let's delete at the fourth position only so we have removed 10 that is present at the fourth position now I will show you how you can reverse a linked list so first of all I will define a previous node 
I will keep it as none. Then I will define the current node. This will be equal to head. Then I will define a while loop. And the condition will be the current node is not none. So in this, first of all, I will save the next node. So this will be current node dot next. Then the most important step is reversing the link. Now I will reverse the link. So current node dot next. Now this will store the previous. So this will reverse the link. Now I will do the preparation for the next iteration. So now the previous will be equal to current node and current node will be equal to the next node. So after that I will make the head equal to previous. So this will reverse the linked list. We can test that now. I think there's some kind of error in the code. Let me check. Oh, I forgot to apply the brackets. Here you can see now the linked list is reversed. So now I will show you how you can detect whether the linked list is cyclic or not. So before writing any code, I will show you what is a cyclic linked list. So a linked list in which a node points back to a previous node, that is a cyclic linked list. So whenever you will try to traverse through this linked list, you will end up in an infinite loop. So now the question arises is that how you can detect whether a linked list is cyclic or not. So for that we will define two pointer, one is a normal pointer, slow pointer and one is a fast pointer. So the slow pointer will increment one at a time and the fast pointer will increment by skipping one node. So eventually while traversing through the linked list, if the linked list is cyclic, the two pointers will meet. So we can detect that. So this will help us in detecting whether the linked list is cyclic or not. Now moving back to the code. So this function will basically return true or false. So if the linked list has cycle, it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. So first of all, I will check whether the head is none. In this case, I will return false. Now I will create the pointers. So this will be the slow pointer. Then I will create the fast pointer. I will keep it as self.head.next. After that I will define the while loop. So the condition here will be fast pointer is not none and fast pointer dot next is also not none. So in this while loop I will check if slow pointer is equal to fast pointer. Let me, uh, so in this while loop I will check whether the slow pointer is equal to fast pointer and if it is the case that means the linked list has cycle and I will return true. Otherwise I will increment the pointers. And if this condition is not true and the while loop ran completely that means the that means the linked list is not cyclic. So in this case also I will return false. So now I will create a cyclic linked list. For simplicity I will remove this node. I will run this code. So now the linked list is not cyclic so it should return false. I need to print that. So the answer is false. Now I will make the linked list cyclic. So 
so link list dot head will be the node up till two next will be up till four so this next will be six and this next will be eight also i want to point back at four so i will add one another next now this should return true as 8 is now pointing back to 4 and you can see the answer is true so this is it guys i hope you like the video on link list please like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next video